Welcome back to another episode of Roll for Initiative. I am your host, Psych Guy. I've got Curiosity, Cash Panda, hey. and Zero G with me here today. So, we are going to get started. Uh, last time, our players entered the Feywild, where they were chased by a red dragon and then made their way to the lair of the Queen of Witches and struck a deal with her for passage for the capital of Bilthi's army, or the capital city Bilthi, for their army to travel through the Feywild to the lair of the army of the night and the Sanguine Saints. And after being chased again by the Red Dragon, due to some unfortunate rolls, they exited a Fey Tree in the north, and were making their way to the city of Wimmick to uh, take care of some business up there. And so with that... You have stepped out of the Fey Tree. Uh, I believe it was morning when you did this. Uh, really doesn't matter when you exit the Fey Tree because it would be morning. Because about 30 minutes has passed since you went into the Fey Tree. Due to the time dilation. We were in there for 30 days. No, I think it was like three minutes past. Oh, that's right. Three minutes has passed. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, it's just a bunch of timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff. All right, guys. I say we go back into the Feywild, get in a couple of fights, so that we can have more abilities when we're ready to actually do things. I think we should send someone a letter in the, in the material plane, and then go through the Feywild, and then, and then meet with them, and be like, you're about to receive a letter that's very important that you that you read it. <laughs> and so then they think that we can tell the future. I have Honestly. a major encounter in the Feywild if you want it, so. Yeah, it's called a dragon. No, we would have, no, we would have no. killed that dragon. Yeah, this would have, this is probably something else. Yeah, did you see his little cute face? He <laughs> he, he just wanted to play. I think we just head to Wimmick. It looks like. All right. We'll fly. I've got Barnabas with me. Fair enough. You see the, uh, you see the, on the sign for Wimmick, somebody took, it looks, you can see the faded portion where it used to be a W and someone flipped <laughs> it over onto an M. <laughs> Some disgruntled city official. <laughs> I was thinking it's because it's an M, and someone scratched out the top of the loop, so it just it looks like it's two R's. It was like a. Uh, it was like, like a. <laughs> like. It's a they're 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 nailed on letters and they they you know they pried it off and they flipped it upside down. Sounds about right. But the but the wood underneath hasn't weathered. Yeah, so you can so still you see can... like the faint outline uh -huh, uh, of the old W. Yeah. As someone who has trouble picturing things when they're described. <laughs> that image was way too clear in my head as to what you were describing, and I'm not okay with it. <laughs> oh. Seems like yep. someone changed the name. Anyways, uh, off off to Wimmick. <sighs> Is uh, Oliver going to fly himself, or are you just going to turn into like, a mouse or something I'll, again? I'll turn into a rat again. Actually, that was uncomfortable last time. I'm a spider. No, not the stop with the spiders. I, I will accidentally squish you. No, he's just a cute little spider. See, all, he can. All eight of my eyes individually blink. Oh God! Can you at least be like, 
like a, 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 a cartoonish one like Lucas the spider? Dude. No, I'm like really gross. <laughs> yeah. I legitimately just threw up a little bit. He's hanging like on a... to he's he's hanging on to Robert the plant, and Robert the plant is sitting on my shoulders. I'm like a wolf spider. Yeah, oh, those are the cool looking There's ones. Like a like a so medium cool one. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not He's happy. just a little spidery boy. He wants to say hello. Well, I had spell I turned into a kitty cat. Okay, off we go. Uh, Do you so, want to turn into a kitty cat? I could polymorph you. Not right now. Not when I have the reins. <laughs> <laughs> Next shot is just Teltama with a plant under one arm, a cat in the other, holding on for Screaming, dear life. trying to <laughs> guide the horse. Why could you do this to me? <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be one of those days. We're already, yeah, at so Chuck, my we're already at Chuck. Right now, one. We're already at two points on the Chuck kill counter I for know. today. That's gotten flash up onto the screen, or the, during the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's give him another thing he has to do. I'll add it in. Oh. Okay. Fly. All right. You fly. Takes about. half a day to see the outskirts of Wimmick. Okay. We'll land far enough away that we're not super noticed, but to where we only have to walk a few minutes to get up to the gates. Yeah. Alright, so you land yourselves, and are you gonna stay a spider there, Oliver, or are you gonna um, change back as soon as you land? Uh... I'll change back when we land. Okay. The city is a fairly large one. This is one of the top ten cities in terms of population size. Um, it's a port city. As you approach, it, it's very clear this is a hardworking major port to the land of uh, Fadir. It is not particularly decorated. It's very industrial looking. Uh, m very minimalist. Everything is kind of just built for function and not aesthetic. You uh, approach the city and the town is yours to explore. Shall we look for Mr. Reese? Yeah, I think we need to go find uh, Reese Witherspoon. No, I think it was a with her with her name. But what was his, What was his name? Was it Reese Gillerys? Reese with his fists. He was he was a kind of like a melee beast fighter, right? Although he, he did say have... that he liked punching people. Sounds about right. And it was Gillaroos, by the way. I know. I I knew it was Ru Ruiz Gillaroos, but I was saying Ruiz Gillaroos. Because, yeah. Hey, Oliver, why couldn't you turn into this? This would be so much more fun for everybody. Yes, but it's not as small. But also it doesn't make you uncomfortable. This is part of the fun. Oh, Are you calling her fat? Because you're right. Yeah, we'll just look for Reese, I guess. Alright. How do you do that? Uh. Excuse me, enough. sir, where are the fighting pits? Are you, You're asking the first. The first person I see. The very first person you see. Alright, um. Excuse me, sir, or madam, as appropriate. Roll me a charisma check. Uh, that's a seven. <laughs> They 
walk away and grunt at you as they do so. Thank you. I will go up to the next person I see. Excuse me, sir or madam, as appropriate. Where's the fighting pits? Uh, roll a charisma check. 22. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh. This. First guy is just having a bad day. This is a, um, half orc sailor type. Sandy the Ravager. And. <laughs> says, uh. Yeah, um. 15 miles outside of town, uh, head northwest. Follow the road, you'll, you'll find it eventually. Thank you, my good man. Yeah, you better have coin with you, though. They don't let any gawkers in there. Uh, guess we'll have to figure out a way to get some coin. Thank you very much. Oh, are you going to fight? I, I, I guess we could, depending on the situation, but uh, mostly just curiosity. Huh? Let me know uh, if you're gonna fight. I might, uh, I might make some pretty penny. Opponents are against us. I'd have to see a match first to decide that. No, uh, there's no fun in that, though, is there? All right, I'll bet on you. That's what they thought. We've I got. Think we're fighting. We've got a. I mean, I'm willing to stick my toe in the ring. Um. Anyways, let's get set off to the pits, I guess. All right. Any stops along the way? Any conversations? Or are you all just heading straight there? No nonsense. Pretty sure we're purely focused right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know. I know. I know. Taldama definitely is because Taldama is like, I want to fight. <laughs> Do I? I'm assuming so. That's your background, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've gotten my fair share of fights in recently, so I'm, you know, I'm not True. itching to be in a pit. Doesn't take you long to find the path that heads northwest. Uh, does end up taking you about three hours or so to make your way so it's probably nearing the evening when you arrive the air is calm nice cool breeze yeah definitely a lot better uh scenery now that the blood moons are not in full force yeah. and you crest a hill and can see this long, large Viking longhouse type dwelling. And you can hear the sound of a crowd cheering and some shouting coming from back behind the house. I, I will then go that way. You make your way towards the back of the house. There's no um, no gate, no security presence on these premises that you can see. Uh, there are carts and wagons pulled up alongside the edge of this long driveway that leads to the house. And in the back, you find a crowd of people and you can hear the sound of, uh, two people fighting. And roll me a perception check. Everyone, or just... Whoever wants to. I get advantage on perception checks because of the eye on my shield. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unbuckle my shield, and I'm gonna hold it up like this so it can see over the crowd of people. <laughs> the eyeball on it blinks. <laughs> Ugh, creepy. And looks around. 17! It's like uh, a Mad-Eye Moody-Eye. Yeah. Oh, that is so creepy. Alright. Uh, 18, 24, and 17, respectively. So. Pretty... Pretty easy to kind of see what's going on here. There's a crowd gathered around a giant hole 
in the ground. There is Reese sitting on a chair, a kind of ornate looking chair. And there are a few tougher looking people flanking him on either side on some benches. And he's cheering along with the rest of the crowd as uh, two people pummel each other. Oh, I'll watch this fight. Yeah. And then see what happens after that. Alright. Um, the fight is between a lizard folk, and which is very rare in most of Fadir. Haven't seen a lot of them. And a very muscular elf. Uh, kind of an odd sight in that usually elves being very thin and dexterity based, I guess, for lack of a better term. This one is all about strength. Mary was built like a truck. Yeah, that's true. And you watch for a few minutes while they exchange blows. They're punching and kicking no weapons in sight, although you can see some weaponry um, at the top of the pit. It looks like sometimes people can use weapons if they so choose, or if the fight calls for it. And the half-elf gets the advantage for a while before the lizard folk does a very swift counter, grabs the elf by the arm and flips him over on his back, gets on top and just starts pummeling. Just landing fist at her fist. The elf is trying to guard it, but a uh, couple of quick shots in there and the elf goes unconscious. The crowd cheers, uh, there's money exchanges hands, and then um, at that point the lizard folk climbs out of a ladder on one side of the pit and is pulled up by some of his friends. A few people go and pick up the, uh, the elf and you know, will wake him up after a few seconds. And then he climbs out of the pit to go nurse his wounds. So there are people milling about now. It looks like there's a kind of a break in the action while people um, talk and bet. Should we just uh, go straight up to talk to Reese? <laughs> or how do you want to do this? How do you think we should approach this situation? Before we do that, give me one second. What? <clears throat> well, he knows us. How did we leave? Did we leave on good terms with him? Um, we didn't fight him. I'm gonna look. Is there a... Uh, is there a... I don't think we ever saw the, like, result of that exactly, but is, does he have a sword with him at all? Uh, like uh, so, a familiar sword. At, uh, rolled me a perception check. At the mansion, he did not. Okay. I didn't remember if I saw if he did or not. Yeah, no, there was no, uh, sword at the mansion. Um. With a 21, you can see a very ornate sword by his side. Um, not on him. It's propped up against his chair. I found the, uh, the item we're looking for, I think. Oh, God, what are your elf I see? Uh, you know, <laughs> half elf, half other things, but... What are um, your dragon elf I see? <laughs> I believe the, uh, the general is by his side, if we... You know. It does look like it's, like it's most likely the general. Similar uh, style. Very ornate, so I'm going to assume so. But it's a very similar style 
I turn around so we can see the hilt of the one that's strapped to my back. Does it look like this? Yeah, yes, I'd probably say it's about the same. Okay. <laughs> the major... Sorry, the intelligence of the spider is just, it's still kind of in there. You know, you go from, like, you know, sentient to, like, basically not sentient. You see, that's why if you turn into a kitty, it'd be, they're much smarter. Yeah, but, you know, oh. ignorant, ignorance is bliss, so... Oliver, when you turn into a spider and your your mind basically goes away, how do you know to turn back? It's just like a like a you know force of habit, or you know, it's just like I have a task at hand and I know how to do that one specific task, and then when the task is done, the task is done. Ah, okay. Or an hour passes. <laughs> I still think you'd be better off turning into. Or even like a raven. They're very intelligent. Yeah, but none of them bother you. None of them bother me? That's true, but you're not as fun to bother. I suppose. Are we? So are we talking, Therese? Kids these days. Ah, uh, yes, we can, I guess. <clears throat> Watch who you're calling a child. You are both children. I am just as much an ageless spirit, I'll have you know. Yes, but uh, but but you're still half child, whereas I'm full adult. So. Better than, oh, it's better than being a man child. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be spoken to this way, young slash old lady. <laughs> You'll respect your elders. You'll respect yours. I think we're in agreement. Let's go talk to Reese. Wait, what day is it? Who gets to be older? I don't remember. <laughs> Let me pull up the chart here. We okay. alternate Sundays. I remember that part. Did you actually write this down? No. Oh. Yeah, no, I lost track about the, after about like day seven or whatever. But, yeah, you know, and because of the Feywild things, it's it's all thrown it does, off it anyway. It gets confusing. You know, we like had a few days there, but they like passed back and forth. But now it's the same day. So what was the day before we went to the Feywild? Was that? I didn't remember. Uh, you're get I'm getting a headache. Let's just go talk to Reese. <laughs> I need some prune juice. <laughs> well, you better prepare yourself. We might have to, you know, get blood in there. I'm not good at hand to hand combat. There's the guy who that. literally beat death. You know, I. But, yeah, but they use magic first. Not... Sure, there are different types of fights. There's probably some with no rules. You know what? I, I have a thought. I might find a loophole. We'll see. Are you a bear? I could turn into, like, I don't know, like a, like a dinosaur or something. Oh, we've seen those big lizard guys before. God, he's seen yeah, T-Rexes. The ones in the, ones in the Oh, we have seen T-Rexes. Yeah. Which is one of the best things to turn into with polymorphs. It's either that mm -hmm. or Giant Ape. Those are the two mm -hmm. highest recommended ones. Um, yeah, okay. So we're, I'm just going to kind of like make my way through the crowd up to where Reese is. Okay. Making my way through the crowd. Pushing people into the fighting pit. Oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going down. Being over the pit. I can just see Radir do that too, with his like super shiny armor. <laughs> That's another ding. <laughs> Damn it, guys. Come on. Three in one day. The day's not even over yet. Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a lot worse. Oh, gosh. All right. Um, no. You make your way to Reese. Oh, okay. You make your way to Reese, and... It doesn't take long for him to notice you, and he says, uh, Well, you, uh, you finally made it. Yeah, we decided to take you up on your offer and come check out the fights. Right, we did. 
So you made it out of the mansion, huh? Yeah, I mean, left, we're pretty much right behind you. There was all, all, all that crazy nonsense going on, things collapsing, and we didn't want to stick around. You ever what find you... out what happened? I was going to ask you if you knew anything about it. Have we heard of? Have we heard from uh, Lady Zemet since then? Or... <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Um. Uh, she she kind of got buried in some rubble. Oh. Oh. I mean. I could see I, how I, that would happen with that, with an yeah, entire house if, falling down. everything collapsed, I mean, it must have been some sort of earthquake or something. Yeah, you ever find out what happened, let me know, because, uh... Somebody locked me in my room. It was probably one of her stupid little mischievous, you know, assistants. Well, that that's what I figured. So... I mean, Strap, I, I, strapping lad is yourself. How'd you get locked in? Couldn't you just break the door down? I did. A hey, good man. Ah, okay. I figured. Yeah. Only thing I saw when I left was some goblin running down the down the alley or down the road with a, uh, a sword in his hand, just screaming. Not sure what that was about. <laughs> I don't know, goblins are weird. They probably raided her cabinet of curiosities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were like, boss is gone, let's take all the stuff. Typical. Yep. Yeah, well, well. Good all to right, see you, well, well. You here to bet? You here to fight? What are you here for? Depends on how my bets go. What, uh, what type of fights uh, are there? I'm potentially interested in signing up, but uh, I'm not good at all types of combat, so. No, we've got hand to hand, we've got weapons, that's about it. What the, do you have, like, specific rules for those? Or it's like, you know, if it was like hand to hand, is it just like, you know, it's just no weapons? Is that the only rule? Or? It's hand to hand until you decide that you want to throw a weapon into the match. <laughs> so it's fun hand to hand. <laughs> oh, there's really not much in the way of rules here. It's last one standing. Well, I would be happy to sign up for a weapons match. I think it'd be fun to test my metal against another combatant. I think we can uh, arrange that for you. We'll bring in Joseph. He'll, he'll see how good you are. We don't That's want you, really uh... strong name. Like a, you know, like a really oh. name. He's not the strongest, he's not the scariest, but we'll test your, uh, your might, and we'll see how, uh, how you do. Obviously, we don't want you, uh, breaking a hip in there or anything. It's a very nice of you, you know, uh, with my extended age, it's probably best I start out light. <clears throat> Let's go for it. By all is means. There any, uh, is there any winnings if I if I win, or is it just based on bets? Based on bets. You win the honor of being ready for the next fight, or right. taking it easy for the rest of the night, or having a nice little nap while you're unconscious. Makes sense to me. All right. I don't know, I guess if anyone else wants to place some bets, I'll go get ready for a fight. I wanna, I wanna, I don't know if all of us need to, but I think we should individually, collectively do a couple of fights, and maybe we can challenge him to win the sword in a fight. Mm -hmm. It's kind of my thought process, because I feel like with him, that's going to be the best way to get it out of his hands. Challenge him? Yeah. Because I don't think he's going to just sell it, you know what I mean? But at this other, we could we can try talking to him just to sell it first. We can get garner some goodwill with him out of a couple of fights. The thing is, see he what he's willing to do. I'm trying. What do you think his reaction is going to be when he finds out we know he has it? It's sitting right there. We don't have oh. to pretend we know what it is. Oh yeah, you, 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 you weren't here. That was it's... when you were away. Yeah, 
he saw it sitting. He has it leaning against his chair. So we can oh. just pretend we think it's a fancy sword. Though. Oh, okay. So yeah. upon seeing his sword there, mm -hmm. I would look at him and be like, "Well, oh, that's a fancy blade you got there. I thought you only fought with your fists. <laughs> this old thing, family heirloom. People keep trying to win it from me, but uh, I've stopped them every time so far. That's so far. Yeah, that's so that's probably going to be what we're after. <laughs> I'm surprised you'd even bet with it. I mean, it sounds like you're not quite willing to part with it. That's the fun thing about betting with it. People keep wanting it. Oh, it looks so fancy. You, it, you know, apparently tingles if you're magically inclined. BS. Yeah, no. Does it brings the people it? wanting it to wanting to have it, so I just keep putting them in the ground. No. Does it have a price? No. Okay. So just if, you know, like somebody beats you. <laughs> if somebody were to ever beat me and they wanted to wager against that, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I mean, obviously yeah. they have to put up, you know, three, four hundred gold against me oh, and then beat me. Gold. That is a lot of gold. Oh, I don't even know oh, if I would have so that much, much on me. So much gold. <laughs> All right. Are you getting into the ring? I'm getting into the ring. All right. I've been wanting to do a solo fight for a while. I have the compelled duel spell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Joseph here. There's, and there's and there's me. And there's Radir. Alright, how do you enter the ring? Like, I mean, I climb down the... How deep is it? Uh, it is about eight feet deep. Oh. Uh, so I, I, I kind of wait, and then while this guy's climbing down the ladder, I just jump in. <laughs> okay. Like and, I, and, the... and my and my and my cloak flares out epically behind me as I land. <laughs> <laughs> flutter, 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 flutter. I was imagining the like Gene Wilder, Willy Willy Wonka, where he like walks out, like trips on the cane, and then like flips oh into gosh. it, and then <laughs> lands. Yeah, no, I totally do that. I like I kind of like walk slowly and like and then and then I somersault and jump and land into the pit, and I draw my my spear uh, midair. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. He, yeah, he climbs in. He takes out a short sword and tests it a few times, swinging it, and says, "Um, uh, nice to meet you. Um, good, good luck out there. I'll, I'll try not to hurt you too much. Um." Knockout okay? Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah. No no to the death, right? Absolutely, yeah, no. We'll just we'll just uh, you know, non lethal. This is it's it's for a show, it's a competition. We don't need to be trying to like severely hurt anybody. And <clears throat> just checking. Yeah. Just 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 wanna know where the limit is. No, I uh, thank you. That's good that we're setting this up. Got the boy, Radir! <laughs> Got him! He's very nice! <laughs> Whatever you do, just make it loud. <laughs> We're putting on the show here. And Reese... I didn't want it to be as silent as the ghosts. Reese is losing it at this, by the way. Like He's laughing? Loving it. Oh, okay. Good, good. <laughs> we want him to like us, so... Alright, uh, All right. let's do it. Let's roll for initiative. So, who starts? You start, I start? What do we... Uh... I rolled a six, so I think you start. I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'll, uh... I, I guess I'll start. So, he, uh looks 
Um, he kind of moves side to side, dances a little, gets gets his feet moving, and then very quickly moves the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, moves another, another 10 feet, mm -hmm. and is going to attack you with his sword, and that's a 12, so that will miss. That will super miss. He's going to move again. And get a seven, or an eight, I'm sorry, an eight. Fast little bugger. And then move again and get a 16. I'm imagining that I'm not even, I don't, I'm not even blocking with my shield. I'm just like trying to keep track of him and he's just like bouncing <laughs> off my armor. Yep. And I'm just like, oh, oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Each move is, if it was an unarmored foe, probably would have done three pretty quick cuts. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. that, yeah. There you go. That's his That's his actions. So my turn? Yep. Good show. I'm going to shield bash him. <laughs> Contested athletics. Oh, I rolled an eight. <laughs> oh. At least something bad happens to me if I fail. <laughs> Did he get less than Did he also roll? get a nat one? No, he got a nat 20. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh good man. Thing there is, good thing there isn't a downside to the shield bash. You, um, so you go to bash the shield, and he takes a step and climbs up the shield over you and ends up behind you. You know what? I'm having fun with this. I'm I'm gonna take the dodge action. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, just chill with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like I just cannot keep track of him at all. Um, so I'll just take the dodge action, so he has disadvantage okay. on his attacks. All right. So you 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 slow your breathing. You focus in, and you know exactly where he is, and just get ready to move out of the attack. Uh, he's going to attack you. That's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. And that's gonna miss. I did not roll above a five. Wow. All three Jeez. times. And then, quicker than you can respond, he's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet away. He's got the mobile feet. Uh, cunning action. Yeah, so he can disengage. Yep. Uh, cool. Um, my turn. Five, ten, fifteen. <laughs> Does nothing in this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to shield bash again. Okay. Uh, that's a twenty. It's a dirty twenty. Flipped him. The yeah, I did. Literally, flip. I just flip flopped him. And that's a twenty-two. Wow, okay. Um, Roll 19. Wondering if this is, uh, like, like, do people seem to be entertained by this at the moment of, of me, like, trying to, like, brute force him and him being all nimble but nothing really happening? Or does it seem, are people getting, are people act seeming kind of bored? I mean, this is round two. It's been 12 seconds, so everybody's still really excited. Okay, I'll take the dodge action again. Okay. <laughs> I'll be the lumbering hulk that I am. He's going to attack you for 19. That'll miss. It's a miss. 22. With disadvantage, you got a 22? Oh, that's right. He has disadvantage. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's a six. Okay. <laughs> and three. So, he <laughs> misses all of them. 22 would have just been barely anyways but and quick as he can 5 10 15 20 25 30 can i roll an insight to see how the people around me are feeling about this fight like whether they because you know how if you're like watching sports you're like i could do that yeah yeah go for it <laughs> um yeah, so as of right now, 
people feel like this is a very one, a uh, very um, even fight, and there, some people are like, "Wow, the the older guy is just not. He's getting so tired by just walking around the ring." And you know, a couple of people are getting the sense that you get the sense that they're wondering, or you can hear from the conversation of like, what. Why is that? Why is what did I say? Joshua, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. What? <gasps> Why is Joseph <laughs> not landing a strike? Stop toying with him and just hit him already. He's too distracted by his amazing Technicolor dream coat. <laughs> well, it's either going to be a a dream coat reference or a Joe Star reference. So, well, you just got out of a musical, so... I did, so I and I was in, singing music from it, so... <laughs> moved in closer. No, way, I'm, way back many centuries we're gonna, ago. We're gonna shield bash again. Uh, yeah. That's a 13. Unless I, unless I have fixed advantage, which I'm assuming I don't. You do not. He got a 16. Okay. Mm, do I just keep dodging and... You gotta hurt him at some point. Yeah. There's no rules, right? You could blap him with the back end of your spear so it's not stabbing him. But there's no rules. As far as we know, yeah. I mean, I yeah. You don't I have to hurt him, but like... I cast hold person on him. Okay. Um... Yeah, what what is the saving throw on that? I believe he has to make a charisma, but let me wisdom. check. Is it wisdom? That is wisdom. Okay, yeah, wisdom saving throw against my spell save DC, which is an eighteen. Rolled a nat twenty. Wow! All right, he's rolling really good. Good for him. He can't roll high to hit, but he's rolling high for everything else. All right. So that's uh, I'll waste that spell slot. Alright. That's everything I can do. Okay. Uh, he's gonna just laugh and say, Yeah, too quick for spells. Gotta gotta use that sword of yours. I'm not holding a sword. I have a spear. Oh, that's right. I guess I have a big old sword on my back. But... Yeah. I'm not going to reveal that that thing's magical right now. That's a little bit much. All right, so that was a 12, a 9, and a 12. It's going to be three more misses. And then he's going to go... Stay still. He zoid burns away. When's he going to get tired? 15. Shield bash! I'm going to hit him with it eventually. I mean, you did uh, hit with it. 12. 17. Jeez, look at I all keep, these. I, I'm getting so many nat 20s and stuff, but they're on, they're, they're on the second roll. That's three in a row on the all second. Right. This, time I'll, uh, this time I'll I'll swing the spear at him. Okay. I'm going to try and stab him. You can do it, Radu. Non-fatally I, yes. stab him. Yes, I understand you. Uh, that's a 20. That'll hit. Okay, so that's 14 damage. Jeez. Yeah, I do eight ra- I do a D8 radiant damage on every attack, no matter what. And I rolled eight on that. <laughs> okay. And and then we'll, we'll stab her at him again uh, for a 16. A uh, 16 will hit, just barely. So that's another 16 damage. So it's gonna be like two quick stabs. Like I, I, I miss with the with the shield bash, and then like as he's dodging out of the way, just and then and then I'm like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You catch him, and he just oh, mm, ah, it it's fine. That's why we're here. Good hit, good hit. All right, is it his turn? Yep, that's my action. That's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. 
and that's gonna miss. And he's gonna disengage and go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What does the uh, attitude of the crowd seem like now that I've got a couple of hits on him? Uh, it was starting there... to lull, and now that you've actually drawn blood, it roars. Nice. And they were they weren't expecting the, t the the sudden quick stabs out of a slow moving, seeming to be out of shape guy. Yeah. <laughs> you hear Reese just cheering. Sweet. All right, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Let's go for that shield bash again. <laughs> That's a 17. 17. Highs go to players. Reroll. 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 15. Another nat 20. Jeez. Not fair. <laughs> yeah, when, when did the reroll happen? Why do I have to reroll? Because it's more fun that way. Uh. It's fighting pit rules. Yep. This is Reese's world now, not mine. Re Reese is able to break physics and force <laughs> me to re-roll. He doesn't um, break physics, just the fourth wall. Yeah, same difference. <laughs> fourth wall, breaking the fourth wall is breaking physics in that universe. His mini looks up at the table. <laughs> like oh, from the table. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, no, stop it. Uh, stop it. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, we'll uh, stab him. All right, stab we're gonna away. Make a we're gonna make a joke, Bob. That's a twenty-three. That'll hit. So that's nine damage, and then uh, thirteen will miss. That'll miss. That's All right, it is. it's it's radiant damage, so it's like heat. So I'm like stabbing him, <laughs> and then it's cauterizing it instantly. Oh. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go. Okay. Attack. 18 will miss. 14 will miss. Nat 20! Woo! 27 good. total. Good good for him. Alright, so you take 16 piercing damage. Ow. And you take 6 poison damage. Ow. A poisoner. Or something. Using poison in a non lethal fighting pit. That's a poor sportsmanship. Alright. Uh, and then he's going to disengage. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's not worth him to disengage. <laughs> it's the only thing he's got. The only thing he knows how to do. <laughs> there you go. It's your turn. Give me just a second here. I shout, there's no point in running. He roll. he runs past. Shut up, I'm fast! I, uh, do I want to do this? I'm tempted to. Where'd he go? There he is. Five, <laughs> 10, 15, 20. I wasn't, I wasn't looking at the thing when you moved him. That's the, that's so. the moment that the character and the, like, actual player, like, overlap, like, just enough. Well, he's gray and kind of blends in, and, yes! and I, I wasn't looking at the screen because I was looking at my spell list when you moved him, so it was, okay. kind, of, it was kind of perfect. That was amazing. Um, uh, oh, that's my favorite moment. <laughs> I'm tempted to cast uh, protection from poison on myself, but the poison damage wasn't that much. Yeah, not like those stupid goblins. Not like those poisons. goblins were. Um, so, uh, well, for now, uh, I'm gonna shield bash. Uh, that's a 26! Beat that, Chuck. That was a 7. Hey. It's a one time. <laughs> He's prone. And, uh... I'm going to, with advantage, stab him again. Uh, that's, oh, a nat, that's a nat 20. <laughs> I love it. So that's, it's still only 13 damage because I rolled, <laughs> all of the dice rolled low. <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah. Smite, I'm not gonna, smite, I'm, smite. I'm not going to waste a smite. I'll save those for if I fight Reese. Um, 
And then I will stab him again uh, for a 29, because I have hit. So 16. More you damage. did more on your non-crit. I know. Crit found a vital area, but you didn't get a lot of force behind it. Oh, he is I'm, looking I'm so holding rough. Holding back a little bit. And, uh, and then, yeah, that's my turn. All right. He's going to take his turn to, to just put his sword down. And I yield. I yield. Oh, I thought, grab I thought it inside. Was... I thought this was to unconsciousness. But I'll accept your yield. <laughs> Just, ow! That he's on uh, the ground with severe puncture wounds to his leg. They've all been cauterized. He's not bleeding anymore. Yeah. Great. <laughs> you got like him down to six people. hit points. And he was on the ground. He knew what was... He knew what his life was about. I'll raise my spear up and be like, I think I won. <laughs> and You uh, think? I'll finger guns, Reese. And he... Well done. Well done. Not the, uh, most back and forth match we've had, but, uh, good show. I mean, he... You got me. A little bit. We'll be talking about your training, Joseph. Hey, don't, 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 uh, don't, don't come down hey. too hard on him. The boy did good. I'm gonna help Joseph up and help walk into the ladder. Okay. Yeah. I just see his name in, like, the big lights now. Joseph the Runner. The Runner. Listen, he's got loud footsteps, so it was very entertaining for me. You're very, very fast. Good maneuvers. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That spear really... Did the spear burn as it went in? Yeah, that's a, that's a side effect. Yeah, my, my sword does that with the whole necrosis thing. Um, sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm okay. Yeah, you're better off than I am. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna like groan as I climb up, up the ladder. Just... <laughs> Every bones and all the bones in his arms. <laughs> yeah, he was here. <laughs> oh, he does the. Uh, he stands at the top of the ladder and he does the uh, the Reinhardt highlight intro. Where oh, he's yeah. like, oh my back. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, give me a minute. I've been carrying my party too much lately. Did either of you guys make bets? You didn't make bets before the fight I started. I didn't specifically say I did. I wanted yeah. to, but we kind of jumped into it before I could do oh, it. Oh, I, I, we can absolutely retcon that if you want to bet again. Bet I, mean, on I was Radir. always going to bet on Radir. Yeah. Like, that, that should be a given. Yeah. How much well, did and you also bet? For this... I bet, like, I don't know, 10 gold. Okay. Yeah, a couple of people take you up on that. Uh, Oliver? Uh, yeah, maybe, like, the same, probably. Okay. Uh, so, all in all, I'd say you each make, uh, 50 gold off of that. Not too bad. The odds were definitely not on Radir, being the new guy, and looking old, and being kind Full, of a... I'm fully armored, no one can really tell that I'm old. Uh, you sound old. You sound, sound old. old, and you walk yourself a little bit. There's that distinct old person smell, you know. Oh yeah. Everybody Moth has balls that. preserve the fabric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh so good. It's so true though. These old people's homes smell like moth balls. Yeah. Maybe not so much anymore, but they definitely used to. So Reese uh, claps a few times more. Well, that was that was something. What about the other two of you, huh? Um, I'd like to try. It sounds like it would be fun. Y you want to try? I'd like to try, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, kind of at a disadvantage, it seems. Yeah. She's got she's got good ears. Yeah, I could hear very well. 
All right. I I mean, everybody's welcome. We're not liable for whatever happens to you in there. Yay. Thank you for not saying no to me. Thank you for being an equal opportunity uh, fight organizer. Hey, if you want to get beat up, who am I to say no? That's a fair point. We don't judge. Unless you're pathetic, and then you're going to get your ass beat to the ground. I bring in my walking stick. Does that count as a uh, weapons duel? Are you going to use it to hit the other person? Well, probably. Then yes. Okay. That's, I, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. You know what? By Joseph again. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph yeah. whimpers off in the corner. <laughs> he chugs it. He, they make it. They like force feed him a healing potion. <laughs> They're jamming good berries down his throat. I think we'll. Uh, I think we have an opponent for you. We'll. Uh, we'll. We'll throw Silva at you and see what you can do. Hey. I just walk forward, and then I walk forward again, and I just kind of like step off into the pit. You hear an audible but, gasp. But secretly, the uh, the I mold earth so it's like nice soft landing for myself. <laughs> but they don't know it. I'm okay. And you watch as a half orc comes uh, walking over to the side and deftly lands on uh, on the ground and says uh, alright you wanted to do this uh, I'm not pulling punches you got that right uh yeah I wouldn't expect it any other way alright and they take their place in the center So, I'm not gonna kill you, but I might knock you out. Well, I could use a nap. It's been a day. Just say the word when enough is enough. Alright, I'll be sure to. And gold on the blind one. Oliver, putting any money up? Eh, not this time. She bet on me, I'm going to bet on her. It's a supportive friend. No, that, that works, it works. You know, but I've already done my betting. I'm yeah, using I'm that to like make that. people think that I don't actually think she's going to win. I'm just doing it to be friend, to be a good friend. <laughs> I'm up today, you know? I, don't, I just don't to want to... Me. Yeah, I don't want to like accidentally lose a lot of it or something. But... Fine, you can be, you can, you can be a pansy. Ten gold on the blind one. <laughs> All right, are you going first or am I? Roll for initiative. Ugh. Jesus. Crime mini Christmas. We both roll nat ones for our initiative. I rolled it. I got a nine for initiative. Oh, no, I rolled it. What? You got a one also? Yep. You go first. Alright. Um, so... What are the rules on me, uh, spike growthing the, uh the ring there are no rules there are no rules it was said that magic is kind of frowned upon all right i won't do it yet but i will shillelagh my stat my stick okay so now i have plus 12 to hit and it's a uh um d10 if i two-hand it okay all right i'm gonna just kind of stroll up to him. Her. It's like I'll be like her. By the her. Way. I'll stroll up to her, and just give me a show where you are. Uh. Hi. Cool. I'm. I go up and I hit with my. I swing with my staff. Will a seventeen hit? A seventeen will hit. All right. So that's ten. And then I will. Uh, do five more. All right. Punch and or kick. Yeah. So minus fifteen total. 
Oh my gosh, you have 21 AC as well, don't you? I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you deliver the staff hit and then followed up with what, a punch? Yeah. Okay. And you just watch as the the orc uh, recoils, holding its jaw, and just, oh. All right, this might be more fun than I thought. Woo! My turn. All right, on their turn, make a deck save, because I don't have to do, like, any sort of verbal things for this. Oh, no. That would be a six. Yeah, that's not gonna save it. Uh, oh shoot, how much damage does this thing do? Isn't it a d6? No, I think it's up to a... We're a level... It's a d8 at 10th level. Whoa! Okay. That is... That is a long sword coming out of the ground. <laughs> oh, boom. Up out of the ground, so that's four more. Yeah, they're gonna swing at you still. I just assume it was a pointy rock on the ground. That's a 24 to hit. All right, well, that'll hit. For four damage, I rolled a one. Huh. And then the other one will miss. <clears throat> and she looks at the, the ground and just, the hell was that? What was what? Alright, no, never mind. Alright, get ready again. Alright, will a 15 hit? A 15 will miss. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, yeah, and an arm strike. For 12, I guess will not hit. Which either. will miss. Ooh. So, it's able to parry both of those out of the way. And laughs and says uh, you got me one time probably won't happen again and she's gonna swing at you make a deck save too returns uh ten for six more that's the nice thing, is there's a good chance you're going to at least be getting that damage on, even if you do miss. <laughs> Alright, and that's to hit. That is a 22 to hit. Yeah, that'll, that'll get it. Damn. For 9 damage this time. All She's got right. a much better chance to hit, doesn't she? Uh, no, I'm just rolling a lot better. That's a 17 to hit, so that'll miss. That will not hit. I guess I was also taking the dodge action a bunch at first, so... No, I, none of those, I just rolled terrible on all of the hits for you. They were all under, like, seven. Lucky. Except for that one that hit. Uh, yep. all right, and that will be, you know, she's, no, she's actually gonna have to go five, ten, and then five, ten, fifteen. And you she will a get an attack of opportunity on Okay, I was gonna say, did she use a key point to disengage? But... Nope. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait, why is it. Hit. Why did it do. Se... It shouldn't do 17 bludgeoning. 1d10 plus 5 wisdom plus 2. Oh, that's right. Wow. Okay, I maxed it. <laughs> Holy you get to add crap. Your, you get to add your wisdom because uh, of Shillelagh. Right? Holy then, mackerel! Yeah, <laughs> that is a freaking great attack of opportunity. <laughs> that is; those are the numbers. Those, wow! Yeah. So as hit. as you as she steps back, kind of laughing, confident, just take the the staff and and as she like moves behind you. You do a little spin move and bring it around, but in a way that looks like you're just you're just turning. You know, you're following the sound, and you end up clocking her right on the thigh, and just oh, it's ow. that really loud oh. slapping, painful yeah. noise. 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, mm. Fine, fine. Lucky, lucky hit. That's gonna bruise. Uh. All right, Taldama, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna. So I don't want to like make up my my ability seem too obvious, right? So I'm gonna walk into the middle of the ring and I'm just gonna kind of take the dodge action. She eyes you up and down, and it's going to move. And she'll make a dex save too. Twenty-one. Okay, that'll oh. save it. All right. So as she's moving side to side, ends up just missing it. She moves, and she's trying to be kind of quiet now, uh, very deliberate with her steps. Move five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and then hits you, or hits at you, swings at you for a twelve. Well, will not hit. With disadvantage, so that... And then the next attack is a nat one. Oof. Let's go lower than that. Nope. What is our spell? Is it 18 right now? Spell save DC? Uh, if your spell casting modifier is 5, it should be 18. Okay, good. Just making sure. Yep. So, uh, yeah, just... Fails have both to get in quick. You're the dodge action, you're able to easily hear it coming, anyways. Um, and they whiff twice. They're starting to pant a little bit from all the, the blows and starting to get tired, starting to get hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do the, uh, another kind of, like, I'm gonna, like, feign it looking awkward staff swing. You know, like, Jar Jar Binks kind of stuff? Yeah. But he, like, does everything he actually wants to do. Knock her block off! For a 25. Hit. And then oh, I'm actually yeah. gonna spend a key point to unarmed strike twice. Flurry of blows! Oh, eleven will miss. Too yeah. Iron. Wow. Oh, got you know the first, the first hit. Uh, she doubles over from the strike, right to the side of the head, just ears ringing, and in grabbing at it and and trying to clear her mind, uh, you just managed to miss with the two quick follow-up jabs. Oh. I, I've had enough of this. I'm ending this now. And she swings at you with everything she's got. That's 25 to hit. Okay. For 8 damage. No. Alright. And a 19 to hit. Which will miss. Which will miss. <clears throat> Why? Ow! Don't you stay put! Ow! That really hurt! Oh no, my hit points. They're Make so a deck okay. save. <laughs> uh, 18. That, my spell save is 18. Alright. Um. Let's go to players. Yep. So five more. As she gets hit, what's hitting me? I. What's going on? I don't know. Are the rocks po the rocks are pointing here? I'm gonna move. So on my turn, I'm gonna move down. I'm like, ow! Oh, that that really hurts. See what you mean? And eighteen. That'll hit. And that will be enough to knock her out. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Slap her on the way down. <laughs> no, I. It's all. I, everything was oh. supposed to be non-lethal. That was. I hope that was implied. The, the yep. staff causes her to be sitting there, uh, uh, Mortal Kombat style, and your unarmed strike is your finisher, and you just like push her over. No. So what happens is, 
as you're moving, you're tapping the, the stick on the ground, and you sweep it, and it catches her in the shins, knocking Ooh. her up into the air, and you go, and you're, oh, well, you know, like, are, are you okay? And you feign, but you bring down a karate chop to oh. the back of the neck, and you just see the, oh. the knocked out eyes, and she just drops. Oh. I like Woo! fighting. This is fun. The crowd Woo! just loses it. Yeah, cheering. Everybody's going wild. Um, is there a way back out of here? Yeah, I'll walk over to the top of the ladder and be like, there's a ladder over here, Tolo. Follow, follow my voice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll walk I, I walk her. back around. I'll walk back with her as if I'm kind of helping her find her way around the pit. Who's at your first fight? You know, when you're different, you get picked on a lot. You've you done gotta this make once sure or people twice, don't pick haven't you. you? Not necessarily in a fight in pit, but I've, you know, had to fend off a couple of people before. How much money did I make on my bets? Oh gosh. Oh god, you were you put in a ten gold and. You made 120 gold. Nice. Because everybody was coming up to you for that action. <laughs> but they feel pretty damn foolish now. Uh, so Reese looks at you and says, uh, I, I think you're not being fully honest with me here. Why would you think that? Because I looked at the way you moved across that, uh, that ground. And that was a lot more deliberate than you wanted to portray. I told you, she has good ears. Well? You know what? what? I want my turn. And he's going to hand you a potion and, uh, say, Rest up, but before the night's over, you versus me. Oh, great. He's talking to Taldana, right? Yep. Okay. Well. He rolled a 30 on his insight check, by the way. I do it. I don't, yeah, I can't beat that. Even <laughs> if I rolled, even if I natted deception. He natted his I, nat I could, I could tie it. Yeah. With my deception, but that doesn't matter, because mine doesn't. I could also tie it. Really. Um. How many hit points are you down? What's the po- Uh, what is this potion? Superior healing. Ah. Save that, because- Because I can heal you, and then we have an extra- support, You have an extra potion of superior healing. <laughs> sure. Um, but how many hit points are you down? Oh, I'm at 94, I'm at max 115. So I am down 21. Okay, I'm gonna use my once per day ASMR healing for 13. All right, um, and then you need you need eight more. Yeah, and I'll do the other eight out of my light hands. So now I'm supposed to fight a guy that Chuck said would wipe the floor with us. I may have been a little blustery. Maybe we'll see. Uh, Oliver, are you going to be fighting anybody? Just out of curiosity, do you have anybody that you just really don't care about? <laughs> I mean... Joseph? No, he's too... Oh. I, he's already had, like, a fair share. He seems like a it's good... Nice. good fellow. I don't really... Is there anybody that if they, like... Like, if accidentally... You know, went away... It wouldn't be, like, too big of a problem. Because, you know, I don't... Like, I have... I have some, there's some abilities I have that I may not be all there, but... If you're using abilities, I I got a punk that uh, might be up your boat. We usually don't do this, but uh, we got this this magic user who's been shouting out about how, how he can take anybody on. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. I think Oliver's the perfect person to put him in this place for you. 
Yeah, nice and tender. I mean, uh, new. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Gosh, if we were if we were unscrupulous people, we would absolutely be traveling the the like fighting pit circuit with uh, with Tala and just I, freaking uh, <laughs> making I was, tons of money off of people. <laughs> I was uh, I was looking at what I'm about to do, and my intelligence is about to drop. <laughs> what? Are you a going lot. to turn into a T-Rex? My intelligence is about to drop a lot. <laughs> hop down into the pit. Nothing fancy. Just hop down. All right. So walk, walk up into the center. Turn around. And gold on bird beak. Hi. Turn around and go. You know, it, it really isn't too late to back out. I, I can't. You know what? That you're going to be alive here. I'll put the fifty that I've won on bird beaky. All right. So, even if I lose it, I didn't walk away with anything less. Go All better, right. go home. Any, so, yeah. Any go family? Ahead. Any family or anybody care about you, like, really at all? I don't need people to care about me. I have people who are going to bow to me. Got this, got this. Morian. Cool. Yeah. What's he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So, um,. When did you when did you first you know, figure out your magical capabilities? Did you just like kind of learn it? Are you like a you know like just kind of gifted, or are you like you know like really special? I opened a book and I read it. Got it. Cool nerd. All it's right, a wizard. Uh, He's got low hit points. Let's, let's <laughs> do this then. Yes. I. Go out of our turn him into kindling. Roll for initiative. Let's see how this goes. 18! I'm the only one to not get a nat oh one! My God. Five. Get a nat one, mine mine's just terrible. Um, yeah, so I T-Rex. <laughs> oh! Now with polymorph, I don't get that was my action, so I don't get to actually I can it's move be in like... it. You can move. <laughs> But I can't do its action this turn. Yeah. Can, can you roar as a bonus action? Rawr. Try to yeah. intimidate him. Uh, I'm gonna move up to him though. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me he just runs away. <laughs> All right. Uh, his turn. He's going to look at you. Mm -hmm. Five, ten. I get a type nope. of opportunity, I... right? Yeah, you do. All right, that is a, hold up, I have to, do I have anything that this is like? Ice knife is similar. We're gonna say ice knife, so that's an 18 to hit. That'll hit. That is, I have to, hold up, how much is this? I'm biting him. That's going to, uh, 23 damage. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and that's with two ones on the damage roll. Wait, so if, if, if Talos would have gotten bit in black label, he would have taken a crap ton of damage. Uh, second question: Before he leaves my range, so lucky not getting bit needs... in that campaign. Uh, oh no, he doesn't even make a save. He's grappled. <laughs> I have him in my jaws. Oh. Yeah. If huh. the bites attack succeeds, then they're grappled. Oh my gosh, that's. It's um... like you picked picked him up like the Jurassic Park guy on the toilet. Yeah. All right. So and... he's gonna. While he's grappled, he's gonna do a, um... Make a strength check to get out of the grapple, typically. Or acrobatics. It's, yeah. Athletics or acrobatics. It just says, it gives me the escape DC, so... He could cast a spell that's just verbal, conce conceivably. You know what? But I, but I don't think he could cast something with All right, so as you cases. bite down on him, he's going to panic... Throw up his hands, and um, a barrier is going to move around him and protect him. Ah, a classic shield. Arcane ward. Oh. Reaction. So nice. he pr is protected from all of the damage. He rolled high enough. Oh, so he's wow. Protected oh, from he's... the damage, but is, if he, is he still hit by it? Um... 
It's a protective it's... barrier that protects him. So I'm going to say that because it was a bite, that it will protect him from it. Okay. So that was his reaction. I'm going to have to wait to see if he hits that ever again. The way I roll, probably not. Um... So then he does try to run away. Well, he was trying to run away. With that, he's going to panic and he's going to use a spell. I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Charisma <laughs> saving throw. This ought to be good. Oh gosh, as a T Rex, too. Yeah. Who? That. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, you watch as the dinosaur vanishes from existence. Ah. Did he just banish him? Yeah. He just banished me. <laughs> That's cheating. You hear um a whole bunch of booing. And he oh. sits there. Um I what uh, uh, Reese, you're gonna allow this? Bring him back now. And technically, it was still physical combat. Ah, see? See? Taldama's got it. That was physical combat, not what you're doing. Uh, I, 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 I just, I'm... And you watch as um, somebody in the crowd appears on the edge and lowers a crossbow at him. And Reese says, bring him back, or that fires. And Woo! with that, he's going to take a couple of steps over here to finish up his movement. And then the dinosaur comes back. Oh, my big stompy friend. <laughs> it would have only what? lasted a minute anyway. What <laughs> magical things had I seen? <laughs> You're in a harmless demiplane, I, I believe is what it does, right? Nothing moved, so you couldn't Banishment? see anything. Banishment? Technically yeah, it's sends you to a... It sends you to a harmless demiplane for one minute, unless you're not native to the plane you're on when it's right, cast on you, right, then yeah. it sends you back to your home plane permanently. So it's great at getting rid of, like, <clears throat> demons and things like that. Uh, just a temporary control against things that are native to the material plane. And oh, when God. you're entirely terrified of the giant lizard that has appeared, and you panic, that's what you choose. So, I mean, it makes sense. What is Taldama's native plane? I feel like you would have to flip a coin. All right. So on a one, it's Feywild. On a two, it's Prime Material. On a case to case basis. Prime material, apparently. No, one? Okay, no, Faye. One Fey. I'd say Fey. So you would get banished to the Fey Wild, and then you would plant uh, the transport via plants to the nearest Fey tree, get out, and come back even more pissed. Uh, <laughs> I'd set my ring to like so that like no time would pass at all, so I get an entire day to like train. <laughs> And possibly level up. Picking right. up banishment right now for petty arguments. <laughs> um, Oliver, it is your turn. I run up to him. Bite. It's a 27. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, that is 42. Oh, good <laughs> lord. He should have <laughs> taken the first damage. He should have taken it. <laughs> <laughs> it's and four now... d12s good gravy yeah. and if there's more than one creature i get a bite bite attack and a tail attack um, there's a reason okay. that t-rex is like the go-to polymorph holy crap he so... is prone or he is grappled i mean very cool it's in your mouth oliver that's just unsanitary doing anything else no, I'm just, I'm just there, biting down a little bit. I'm gonna shake him like a dog. Just get a nice nasty burp while he's in your mouth. Oh, oh god! <laughs> Probably smells bad enough. All right, he's going to use. 
and is attacked with disadvantage. Uh, you need to make a constitution saving throw. I feel like that stat's higher for T-Rex. 20. Alright. Nice. You take 22 damage. Okay, still above 100. And... <laughs> Alright, well, you take 22 damage, and that's it. Okay, I have and to make a con saving throw for this spell, I think. You maintain the concentration. Yeah. Yeah. And it's half or half 10, whatever's higher. So you have, you have to beat 11. 22. Okay. I think you're fine. There you go. And now it's your turn. Um, 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 um. Uh, I have advantage, though, right? Yeah. Cause he's uh, yeah, because he's grappled. Yeah. So 14. Uh, 14 will hit. Whoa. Wizard. <laughs> Wizard! <laughs> uh, he did get his reaction back at the start of his turn. Okay. Gonna take 27 again. Alright, minus by 25. So he takes 2. 2. And... Dude, Arcane Lord is ridiculous. Yeah. And... Because it gets charged up when you cast abjuration spells, so it can it can keep regenerating. Um, because of the forest, and because I don't want you to just numb on him the entire time. Uh, he is gonna get free. On the Okay. So he's now prone on the ground. Ooh, ref, bad call. <laughs> 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 yes, this is going to make so like much hurt. difference in the long run. That sounded like it hurt. As he's a quarter of the health gone already. So, doing anything else, Oliver? Hmm, I don't think I can. But with this bite and one with the tail, I can't make both attacks against the same target, so I cannot make another attack, unfortunately. <laughs> Can he stand on top of him so he can't move? No. <laughs> uh, he's going to make three attacks against you then. Okay. Just gonna stay laying in the dirt? No, he's gonna stand up. Okay, so half his movement. And he's... He knows he can't leave, so... That's a ten. That's a nineteen. It's a hit. That'll hit. Okay. And a seventeen. Those last two will hit. Okay. So, that is going to be... 23 damage from the first one. Okay. And 23 from the second one. Got it. 46. Still up. Well, hold up. Let me... Oops, I didn't mean to do intelligence. Let's be con. Okay, I drop. All right! Oh, no! I actually dropped in the first one, so... I take the second... What was the second one again? 23? Uh, you, concentration ends at the, you maintain it at the end of your turn, I thought. No, it's every time you take it's damage. It's every time I take damage. Oh, really? yeah. for okay. concentration. I don't play so spellcasters enough. So, uh, 17 to hit. That doesn't hit. Okay, so the first one drops you out of the T-Rex form, and he's aiming at the T-Rex head, so as you drop, it goes flying over your head. This so. is about to get fun. All right, we'll just put the T-Rex over there, and you can put uh, Oliver back on. Use the pile driver! I'm be like right there, right? I wasn't planning on going back to this yet, but... You know. Give him the acid elbow! Oh, you're saying small again. Is it my turn now? Yeah, that, yeah. I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20. No. Uh, 25. Can We're just save. having a spicy fight a right now. Dexterity no, saving no. throw. <laughs> oh. Team 16 is not. <laughs> that will not make it. Oh, That's no. 31 acid damage. Oh no. Uh, 
Yeah, Woo! that that'll hurt. <laughs> and I'm going to quicken spell if he's still alive. He is. He's looking really hurt, but uh this will be acid. 21 to hit. Whoa. That'll hit. That's 16 acid damage. 16 acid damage. Jeez. <laughs> 47 acid damage in one round. And yet mm. he's still alive. Uh, I'm still standing there. Oh, and as, uh, yeah. as no action, I'm going to channel divinity myself. Okay. Uh, so oh. I now have 40 feet of movement. <laughs> that's, that's what you need. Oh, hey, welcome to the 40 Foot of Movement Club. Yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it? This lasts oh. for an hour. <laughs> Kids always started clubs, not letting the adults be part of it. Oh, oh, he's going to panic. You need to make a dexterity saving throw. 13. That'll no, miss. You should, have, you should have come and stood at the bottom of the ladder. You would have gotten my uh, bonus just oh. passively. <laughs> the pit Doesn't matter. The pit will become somebody's tomb. He throws his hands out and a uh, streak of lightning comes and hits you straight in the chest uh, passing through you going straight into the wall behind you and you take 38 lightning damage. Force damage. No, oh, lightning. Force. Lightning. 38. Oh, yeah, I have Absorb Elements, don't I? <laughs> I do actually have Absorb Elements, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Might as well. Uh, yeah. The... Then you can add that to your damage. Yeah. Or I gotta some remember. amount of it. It's to not your... technically in my spell thing, but it's part of my cloak. Yeah. I'm going to bring it up again. Just so I oh, boy. I forgot you had that thing baked in. Yeah. I do. <laughs> I need to... It's a uh, 1d6, right? Or no, a huge I, amount, but it... Yeah, I, I take away, capture some of the target. You have resistance to the triggering damage type. Solstice, it's not that kind of acid. Also the first time you hear it. <laughs> Solstice is very accurate. Okay. So it just you gives have me skin. resistance, they correct? <laughs> it just gives me resistance, correct? Is that what it yes. does? I think so, I yeah. Yeah. So that would be, instead of 38, that would be... 19. 19, thank you. Oh, good grief. Oh, but I need to... I'm just going to give myself a full one. You watch as the cloak absorbs the lightning, and anybody watching can see it swirl through your cloak and into your gauntlets. It's like a Faraday cage. Yeah. <laughs> And, and like as it passes seats. through the gauntlet, you watch as it turns from that bluish white to a green. Uh, my turn? Yeah. I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. My magic I'm user. going to attack with the scythe. That's a 19 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. So that's that plus... Plus the lightning damage. Yeah. One lightning Aww. damage. Aww. Oh, he's still alive. Why is he still alive? Because he's a glutton for punishment. Uh, quick and spell, inflict wounds. Oh, oh. It's at oh. I forgot. Hit. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that'll and hit. Another sixteen acid damage. Yeah. Yeah. So that is sixteen acid damage to him. Yeah, he he had three hit points left. Cool. So, awesome. well, he's uh, no longer. Yeah. How, uh, are you? Is he dead? Dead? Or are you just knocking him out? We've tried to determine if we can, like, can we hold back spells at all? Unless I mean, we want to. Yeah. After the scythe from death, and then that much acid damage? No. Okay. Like. No. If you want to make this... a sword hit non-lethal at the end, I'm all for that. Inflicting wounds on somebody who has just had death's own scythe enter them? Yeah, no. I'm going to hit him with the scythe, and then I'm going to lean down and grab his shoulder 
and I'm just gonna say, you know, you really tried to be the best, but you didn't get very far. And I'm gonna flip wounds. It just melts oh. in your hands. He, it, it looks like the um, Nazi from Raiders. Oh. As he just melts from the outside, from the inside out, until you just have a some cloaks and a spell book at your feet. Oh, Oliver, you got noob on your boots. <laughs> oh, spell book. I'm going to grab that. What's what's that smell? That is that is uh, melted bitch? Ah. Oh. He did it again. Uh, uh, just, I'm just gonna go back to them. No, it's really sad. I didn't even get to use like you know like really good stuff. But yet, <laughs> that's okay. You'll get to someday. Yeah, you know. How um, much damage. You're 19 hit points down. Yeah. I'll pat him on the back and give him those 19 hit points back. <laughs> Oliver, uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw. Ooh, oh boy. I'm by Radir, so <laughs> at this point. So uh, plus this, five uh, no, this would have been in the middle of the ring. This is oh, right okay. away after you okay, killed Okay, so it. 19. 19 then. Which is still it's still enough. Um Radir, as you're as you pat him on the shoulder to to heal him up. Um There's just a faint like steam. Blackish green steam radiating from him, and it quickly disappears. Is it similar to the blackish energy that was out of my hands previously? No. Okay. Oh. It's similar to the aura that I sensed coming off of. Be... No, because I sensed it off of Radir. You sensed it off of Radir. Yeah. Be a thing. Oliver has noticed this. I think you noticed it on yourself after Benny's um, people died. Yeah, and I, you know, kind of under the rug. Yep. Corruption, or corruption. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. Reese is clapping. I. At one point during this fight, Radir looks over and Reese is nearly doubled over in laughter. It's just that <laughs> I mean, it's what you get. Yeah. Talk about your fancy spells and your fancy abilities and <clears throat> and and then a, a giant lizard eats you. <laughs> I mean <laughs> Um say Miss Mr. Reese. Please, just Reese. No Mr. Nor f no formalities. So just Reese. <laughs> um, how many people have you fought at one time? Oh, I don't know. Three, five. It, I don't know. You take out the first one, a couple of them scatter, and then you just go for the rest that are standing there. I don't know. Because you've got me thinking, right? <laughs> Listen. You might think I have some sort of fighting abilities that you've seen. But the crowd around doesn't know that. And if you challenge me to a fight, there's no win in this for you. You make an interesting point. What do you recommend? How many people do you want to fight? I'll jump in. And then it won't look so bad for you, even if you do win. Or if you lost. Roll a persuasion check. Can I get some help on that? I don't know what I can do to assist, but I will I try. Know. Okay, how's an 18 sound? You know... Might not make for a good show, but after... Winning out there last time... Kind of want to see what you're made of. All right. Now, I don't really feel like going up against you when I don't know what you're truly made of. And your lizard, buddy. But if we keep the spells away, I'd take all three of you on. 
It is true, you know, if at the moment I bring out any spells, you're kind of just toast. But it's, it's all right. <laughs> you haven't seen what I can do to spellcasters, son. Oh, then you shouldn't be afraid of some spells, no? And what's in it for me in this fight against all three of you? If you're turning into giant lizard creatures. Well, I don't turn into a giant lizard creature. I find that distasteful for myself. Up down, uh, what do you say? Was to fight him 300 gold? One on one, 300 gold. I don't see why not, like, 300 each. Hey, 300 each. <laughs> but if we win, I want that sword. 300 each. 900 gold. Just like that. Just like that. Sure, why not? I mean, I made almost that much betting. You know, I'm not going to go easy on you. Yeah, I, I would be offended if you did. I think you never had the intention to go easy. <laughs> you got that right. And you know, when I drop you, I'm going to make sure you stay down. I'm gonna roll not permanently, inside. but for the time being. Yeah, roll an insight. I'll see how confident he feels about all this. 24. He feels fairly confident. Three against just him is... Uh, he's a little bit cautious of it. He just saw what happened with the whole, you know, T-Rex thing. But he still feels pretty confident. Okay. Interesting. Especially with the fact that two of you didn't kill your opponent. And you were honorable about that, you know, worst case scenario, he loses. I feel like he's one of the, I feel like he's the kind of guy who's, like, trying to find a fight that he can lose. Because he's bored of winning. I mean, Goku, roll an inside check on the people in the crowd, including some of the people you haven't seen fight but are dressed in fighting gear. 28. Uh, I mean, okay. On a scale of 1 to 20, the first two people were at, like, a 5, and the f the wizard was at, like, a 9. Okay. Like, he's leagues above most of them. I see. Well, I would expect nothing less. I mean, to be fair, I didn't really give too much into the fight that I was in. And he rolled an insight check to see that. Yeah, but he doesn't know that I was holding back spells. No. No, he does not. We've kind of, we've kind of agreed no spells. Um, not yeah, the... but he also knows that there's no rules once we get in the ring. True. And he doesn't think, he probably doesn't think I'm too much of a threat, because I beat his, like, weakest dude mm -hmm. without doing anything. <laughs> I didn't use, like, any things. Okay. So. I just wanted to egg yeah I just wanted to egg him on into a more fun fight for him yeah. at least one one blind girl it'll, it'll, it would hardly be worth your time it's a good argument it's a good argument for somebody that is putting on a show so and even if he were to win so what he beat a blind girl yeah yeah, that was the that was the part that kind of swayed it. If he loses, then you just you lied about your ability, and that's fantastic. But if he wins, it, it, that looks bad. That's those are bad optics. Yeah. Part of me thinks that like I should have just gone one on one on one with him and let him knock me out just so he'd feel crappy about it. <laughs> Roll an insight check. 30 a and a 29. Nat 20, 30. Um, that would have ended very poorly. Uh, some for him of the, or for me? For, him, for you. Oh. Uh, some of the conversations you're hearing are, as you're, you're goading him into this, is... There's been a tendency that once he starts, he doesn't stop. 
Oh. Let's fight him! I'm not fighting him right now. Not tonight, anyway. No. So, he, uh, he laughs. He says, throw the gold on the chair. Um. How much do I have for this? Enough. <laughs> Joseph moves over to guard it. And... Yeah, that's safe. <laughs> oh, sure. Get your boy who lost to an old man to guard the gold. He'll do well enough people don't steal from him. Joseph kind of checks out. And and another another person um, comes out and kind of checks the gauntlet. And the he's got arm wraps on. And they they wrap those up, and the other guy, this um, Tabaxi, in fairly plain clothes, gives him a, a little like massage, just loosens up the muscles, and then wraps a uh, leather cord around his arm, and then he gets up and he jumps into the ring. Oh, we're fighting now. Oh, yeah. If we're doing this, we're gonna do this. We'll jump into the ring. Uh, before we jump into the ring, I hand everyone magic stones. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Alright, do the three of you get into the ring? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, set yourselves up. At this point in the ring, like, I'm, I've got, like, I mold the earth, like, into like a set of steps and walk down. Ha ha ha! Yes! He just starts laughing. I knew there was something else about you. Hey, Reese. Yeah? Have you ever heard of the Terraformer? Yes. Who do you think you're fighting? <laughs> you're gonna need to owe me another hundred gold when I beat you. Deceitful. have altered the deal. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we will pick this up next time. Thank you all so much. Make sure to check these videos out um, on YouTube once I get the last two uploaded. Uh, thank you. Uh, that should be very soon, now that my evenings have cleared up a lot. So, check us out on YouTube. Check out our Teespring. Do all the fun things. The likes, the comments, the Subscribings, all that stuff. Most importantly, may you roll those nat 20s and avoid those critical fails. And have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.